Hola y bienvenidos a esta lección. Hoy vamos a hablar de possessive adjectives, adjetivos posesivos. And you might be saying, Señor, I already did possessive adjectives in Spanish 1. I remember quite clearly that I talked about mi mochila. Yo tengo mi mochila. Yo no tengo tu libro. Yo no tengo tu libro. I don't have your book. Okay, me, tú, and if we talked about his or her, ella tiene, mm, ella tiene, ella tiene su almuerzo, ella tiene su almuerzo, sí, ella tiene su almuerzo, tú tienes tus libros, remember we went plural, okay, so you might remember these possessive adjectives from Spanish 1, hopefully you do, because what we're doing today is going to take that one step further. If you want a quick review of these, let me throw one at you real quick. Real quick review. We talked about possessive adjectives. Me is my, tu, no accent is yours, your, su is his, her, or your, talking in the usted form. Nuestro is our, like nuestro libro, nuestra clase. Again, um, this O can change to nuestra, nuestros, nuestras, and it adjusts according to the thing that's being possessed. For example, even if it's a group of girls and they're saying they, these are our books, they would still say nuestros libros because it's our books. The books are what are possessed. That's the adjective that we're describing, nuestros libros. Now, there was another lesson that I did a while back on possessive adjectives when we did a review of one. It's one of the zero dot lessons. Um, so you can go back to that if you want to. Um, vuestro, if you're in, into the vosotros, vuestro. And if you're saying their, like this belongs to them, it's their book, es su libro. But, señor, these are the same. Yes, they are. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. Um, and some people do get confused because when, the, when they see sus libros, they think the books belong to a lot of people. No, I could be talking about Jorge, and I could be like, ah, estos son sus libros. These are his books, sus libros. But the person possessing a singular, once again, the possessive adjective is modified only by the noun that it's modifying. Ooh, I'm sounding like a grammar person. I'm sorry. Mi libro, tu libro, nuestra clase, nuestro, nuestro video. Um, Mi amigo, mi amiga, mis estudiantes, mi marcador, mi proyector, tu video, tu clase, nuestra clase. Okay. These are the, the possessive adjectives that you did once upon a time. Señor, I'm good with all this. Give me something new. Okay. Those, some people call those the short possessive adjectives, the basic possessive adjectives. There's a next step in, in this. Okay. I'll show you what I mean. Um, este es mi libro. Okay, let's imagine a conversation in English. Is this your book? Yes, this is my book. Where did you get your book? Um, I got my book at the store. You keep saying book. That sounds so awkward. Okay, so what we want to do is, is this your book? Yes, it's my book. Let's make that easier. Is this your book? Yes, it's mine. 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 Nemo. Okay. Oh, by the way, in my class, I quote movies a lot, so it's starting to spill over into the videos. Okay. If I want to take this from my book, and I want to change it to just like saying, this is mine. Well, book is masculine and singular. It's me. Mi libro. It goes to mio. Is this tu libro? Si, es mío. Yes, it's mine. Is it? Si, es mío. Es tu mochila? Es tu mochila? Sorry, the, the smart board is lagging a little bit today. I'm recording it at the same time, so it slows it down. Es tu mochila? Let's make it a question. Response. C. 
es. Now looking up here at mi libro becomes mio. What do you think my backpack would be? Si. Es mia. Es tu mochila? Si es mia. Es, es tu desodorante? Si es mio. Y es tu jabón? Si es mi jabón. Es tuyo? Oh, now we get to the next one. Let's go to the next one. Actually, let me just give you them all right now, and then we'll talk about them. Okay, so we've got mio, and you probably already noticed there, you can switch to mia, mios, mias. Next one, if you want to say something is yours, tuyo, and of course, tuya, tuyos, tuyas. Es mi libro? No, no es mío, es tuyo. Down if you want to say his, hers, suyo, and once again, a, vos, as, okay? Ours, that stays the same as those old possessive adjectives, nuestro, nuestra, nuestros, nuestras, it follows the same thing as before, es, es, uh, um, Es su pizza? Si. Sí. Es nuestra. It's ours. Vuestro is the same. And then this one, you'll see it looks the same as that other one. Suya, suyos, suyas. Okay, so instead of being mío being me is my, mío is mine. Tu, without an accent, your, tuyo, yours. Su, his, hers, or yours in the usted form. Well, in English, we still say the same thing. Yes, it's his, hers, yours. Sloppy writing. Es nuestro, ours. It's ours. Um, let's see, do we do that in English? Do we say it's our? No. No, whenever you remove the noun in English, if I'm not mistaken, just thinking about it here real quick, Whenever we remove the noun in English, we add this S. It's our book. Yes, it's ours. Yeah, when you remove the noun in English, it becomes S. Suyo, again, um, actually not his, hers. Their book, your book, plural. Okay? All right, so you can remove the noun and use this. Instead of my fish, you can say it's mine. Instead of my shower, you can say it's mia. Instead of my, what are some vocab words this chapter? Um, my cepillo de dientes es mío. Es nuestro cepillo de dientes? No, we don't share, no compartimos. No es nuestro cepillo de dientes. Es mi cepillo de dientes. No es, no es tuyo, es mío. No es nuestro, es mío. No es suyo, it's not his or hers. Es mío. Este cepillo de dientes es mío. Y la pasta dental también es mía. La pasta dental no es, no es tuya, no es suya, no es nuestra, es mía. I'm very egoísta, very selfish. La pasta dental es mía. El cepillo es mío. Okay. So that's our quick overview of those. Let's do a little practice with these. So if I have... Um, es mi jabón. How do I say it is mine? Okay, I'll give you just a few seconds here. It is mine would be es mío. Um, if I want to say she is my friend, es mi amiga. She is my friend. And I want to say, whose friend is she? She's mine. Es mía. Now, what if I want to change this? Let's say I want to make it be, I'm going to make a mess up here. They are. My friend. 
friends, that would mean, I would have to say mis, son mis amigos. Now I would say they are mine, son, got it, mios. Son, you're doing some laundry. Son tus pantalones. Is your pants? Son tus pantalones. You want to say, no, they are not mine. They are his. No, no, son. They are not mine. No, son. Mios. I should I could end the sentence there if I wanted to. They are his. Son. I would say those pants are his. Son. Suyos. Okay. Again, we'll practice a lot more in class, but um, that's your introduction. Now, the, it is possible. It is okay to do a. Um, uh, to use a longer form of it. For example, in English, I might say, um, my car, the car of mine. Hey, that, that sounds awkward, though. Um, are these your earrings? Uh, that sounds awkward. Here, let's, a friend of mine. A friend of mine. That's a good one. Okay. Mi amigo. Okay, I can say my friend, or I can say a friend of mine. Who told you? A friend of mine. You can use a longer form. You can include that noun, but then have the longer possessive adjective, too. Who told you? Un amigo mío. Amigo mío. Friend mine. A friend of mine. In English, we throw in the of. In Spanish, we don't throw in the of. Let me give you some examples. So here's a quick check of possessive adjective. Excuse me. Quick check of possessive adjective. If I want to say tus joyas, they are your jewelry, your jewels, your jewelry, I would say, okay, Tus joyas, I want to say, um, not just your jewelry, but the jewelry of yours, it would be las joyas, what? Tuyas. Mi peine, my brush, I want to say the brush of mine. El peine mío. Su cinturón, I want to say the belt of yours. Instead of su cinturón, I want to say the belt of yours. It would be el cinturón what would it be? Suyo. Our hair dryer. Nuestro secador would become el secador nuestro. Mis toallas. The towels of mine. Las toallas mías. Okay, so there's a glance at switching it from one form of Spanish to another, which doesn't have a lot of feeling to it, I admit. But let's try taking some stuff that we do say in English and flipping it over to Spanish. Perhaps if I can get the screen to cooperate. There we go. So a friend of mine, una amiga mía. The books of mine, los libros míos. His shirt, which the shirt of his, the shirt of him. Yeah, it just doesn't sound right in English. The shirt of his, his shirt. La camisa suya. The jail of ours, our jail, jail. El gel nuestro. Your brush or the brush of yours. El cepillo suyo. Okay, I know that this is a quick run through these possessive adjectives. Ah, you may be saying, it wasn't so quick, senor. I'm sorry, I tried to make it as quick as I could. But I know this is just a run through of these. It's gonna require some practice. I've got practice for my students. Um, your homework for tonight, you've got three spaces. Those of you that are my kids, my students, uh, you've got a few spots there on your sheet. Let's do this. Um, I'll give you three sentences in English, you write them in Spanish, here we go. Okay, first sentence. Where is the computer of mine? That sounds funny in English. In Spanish, it sounds okay. Weird. Where is the computer of mine? That's your first one. Second one. He is a friend of mine. 
He is a friend of mine. Okay, that's your second one. Your third one, I don't do the homework of mine. I do, no, scratch that. I did a couple of mines already. Um, he does not do the homework of him. He does not do his homework, but use this long form. He does not do his homework. He doesn't do the homework of his. Okay, and that's it for today's lesson. Gracias por su atención. Y nos vemos en clase. Chao.